and say welcome everyone it is march 27 to our um incredible new soulful business women's call and i'm loving this series so much because we have both practical and um mindset coaching uh living in the here and now and also about how to conduct yourself in more ease and flow in our business. And isn't that what we all want? Less push, less struggle, less um, stress and overwhelm and more ease and joy and fun. Does that make sense? So today when I was thinking about what do I want to bring to the table um, for this week, um, I've been on a lot of coaching calls over the past um couple of weeks and what I found is there's a lot of people um, in a bit of stress and overwhelm right now there's a lot of life happening out there would you agree so pop a one in the chat I just want to see where you're at um, what's coming up for you in business what's one of the things that you would really love to move the needle on if you could that you would just like this part to be easier is it your time management? Is it maybe your motivation? Is it your um, clarity of vision? Is it your priorities? You know, is it the time management 101? Is it how to speak with people easier? Because what I'm going to cover today, I think is really powerful for all aspects of business building, not just um, business building, but I would say life skills. And this is something that completely transformed my business life and also um, especially my personal life. So I want to just take you back to where I um, had a real shift in my own mindset and how I practically plan in my life. And it was about eight years ago when I did a, a huge deep dive of personal development year. Um, I paid for one of the world's best coaches um, to personally coach me that year and had a very intensive um, membership year with along with Tony Robbins. So I put myself in a really big arena because I wanted that quantum leap for me. And one of the best ways to have a quantum leap is choosing very carefully who you spend time with, right? Be around the people who you want to be like and you want to have their results in your life. So I wanted to be around people who were thinking bigger and playing bigger, but who also were keeping a really level head. I wanted to be around feminine women in leadership who were empowered and still vulnerable and still real. And I wanted to learn how to um, integrate these next things that I was feeling but wasn't consistent on. And i got to tell you, over that year, I learned so, so much. But the number one thing that helped me take quantum leaps in how I felt internally, everything changed for me internally. So then, of course, it changes externally. Change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. It's our inner world that we constantly want to be strengthening. Does that make sense for everyone? So um, I'm just going to read what uh, some of you wrote here, confidence in doing live events, dropping the this is hard, right? I totally feel you there, Fiona, and second guessing yourself. Reaching out, I seem to get to the point in the conversation and then it dies, right? Um, time management, self-belief and time management, confidence, okay? So there's a few common themes there already, right? So this is, um, this is something that is, to me, it's the all-rounder training, and I'm going to get diving in now. What happened for me in that year, coaching with my coach, in our first few sessions, she couldn't believe how far I had come without any kind of priority management or focus system. She just couldn't believe it. She's like, I don't know how you're doing what you're doing now. It's kind of a Christmas miracle. But if we can help you lean into what you're resisting about your schedule, and your time management and your focus and clarity, 
it's going to change the game for you. And boy, oh boy, was she correct. So I want you to pop a one in the chat if you have nailed your time management. Like you just know it. It feels good to you. It's easy for you. Um, it reflects your top three one-year goals and your priorities. You're absolutely nailing it. Pop a one in the chat if that's you. It's sort of like Bueller, Bueller. Is anyone out there feeling like this is why I love training on this? I suspected this. <laughs> now, I'm not perfect and I'm always a work in progress, always, always. And for the last two weeks, Mine has gone out the window and internally I have felt chaotic and externally I have felt chaotic. And I love when I remember, oh, I know why everything is feeling like this because I let, I let my practice, I let my standards slip and I got back into reaction mode and I got back into default mode and the stinking thinking came back in and I wasn't intentional and conscious. I just went back into life happening to me, okay? So what I, my biggest outcome, I feel like we might need to do a part two of this because there's so much to teach you. I'm going to try and give you the overview, a helicopter view of a course that Tony Robbins designed. It's called The Time of Your Life. And it goes on for days and days. I mean, Tony, I love Tony, but back then he just went on and on and on. No one's got time to do the time management course. That was everyone's, right? It goes literally, there's 14 days worth. And it's just like, I don't have time to do the time management. And that's the crazy eight. Does everyone feel that? You can relate? Yeah. I don't have time to sit down and learn a new system, right? Would you agree? If you can learn a new system, and you can understand that it's art and science and understand that you're going to have to have a play with integration and you're going to have to find the best elements that suit you, customize it for you. Because I've taught this now to a lot of people. They take the best of what I'm teaching and then they make it theirs. That's my observation, having taught this for eight years now, both in my course and in, you know, overview training events like this. Um, I'm going to give you the basics today. So I want to start with everything is energy. We're going to go really fast on this because I did an energy call. Um, I don't know, maybe one of the last rounds that I did. Everything is energy. And we're going to do a really quick example of this. Um, I'm going to go to gallery view. Show me what your body looks like when you're stressed and overwhelmed. Just go into the energy of being stressed and overwhelmed. I instantly have this tension on the right side of my neck. I start going, I do this sigh, going to stress and overwhelm. What do you do? Do you, I rub my lips. My family know this. I like touch my head. I can feel the strain. Yeah, that's it. You're all doing it. Take it to a 10, clench teeth. Take it to a 10, just for a moment, just so you really feel this. Oh, can't you feel it? What do you say to yourself when that's happening? I say, I cannot believe how much I bite off. I can't believe I've done this again. That's my, that's the voice that comes out. What does yours say? This is like a radio station. We're dialing in to your radio station for overwhelm. Does that make sense? But I want you to realize and notice the nuances of this. Okay. Now, I want you to go into pure joy. And I'm going to give you a hint. I want you to just go up like this, go up to pure joy, just like play along at home. Come on, you can do it. I want you to feel the difference in your body. Feel this, arms wide open, like look up, expand it, feel that chest open. And now without changing your body or your physiology, I want you to feel overwhelmed again. Stay where you are physically, but I want you to feel the feelings of overwhelm. It's nearly impossible. Do you, do you guys get this? Can you get that your brain's going, what? That's not what we do for overwhelm. Can you feel that? Can you feel that this is the radio station for yes, triumphant joy? 
anything is possible. I can conquer the world. I can do the invite. I can do the event. I can crush it today. Can you feel how important that is? I'm going to tell you this. It's everything. It's not only important, it's everything. Life is never about what's happening to you. It's about how you choose to respond, not react, respond. And you do it with your, your radio station, your dialing. So would you agree it's best for you to consciously intend, I want to be in this energy for this part of my day? Make sense? So instead of having a to-do list, with all the things you, that you got to do. And i got to tell you, when I'm overwhelmed, I revert back to the to-do list because it just makes me feel better. It gets me from a negative three to maybe a positive one. It just calms me down, right? But the system that I love to teach is life by design with intention, not reaction. It's where you get your top three one-year goals and you're deciding in advance who you need to become to bring those things into your life. What kind of personalities, personal realities are you going to bring forward? Now, I'm going to give you examples this is the fastest way to learn this. So, for example, this morning I've already been in so many different energies. If I'm just like the rainbow and this morning I've had rainbow, I received a voice message for someone that made me cry. And I was like, oh, my goodness, that's so nice. I feel so blessed. So I felt in deep gratitude and, and blessed, right? That's a radio station. And I also felt um, I intentionally brought out Mama Bear this morning. I put the phone away and I wanted to check in with my kids because I was hectic yesterday in default mode. And this morning when I'm in Mama Bear mode, I'm just going to be fully present with them. And I'm going to ask and I'm going to ask them some great questions and listen. And I'm going to deliberately be in rapport with them. Does that make sense? So I'm in a different energy when instead of yelling and screaming, when you know my my late one is tending to come down too late and not do a dishwasher and all that kind of stuff. I have to ask a better question. I have to be in a very different, calm energy. And that's where I access her 10 times more. Who understands what I mean here? With intention and breath, ask a better question, Linda. What energy do I need to be in right now for my outcome? My outcome is to calmly and joyfully drive to school because I'm I, James is in Melbourne at the moment. So I'm, I'm doing both. And they're, they're time pressured, okay? And my intention was I'm going to go down there. So what do I do? I put on music. I make my cuppa. I'm making the lunch, asking the questions, and I'm giving gentle reminders upstairs, right? I'm saying this is when we're leaving. Do you need any help? And then everything went smoothly this morning compared to two or three mornings ago when I was whirling and swirling and not intentional. Is everyone with me? Now, the challenge is being of sound mind to do this. And this is, this is art and science. I am so far from perfect. But I will give you the example for me, the stress point in my life. So here's my question with you. What is the stress point in your life where you go to your favorite flavor of suffering, if it's overwhelm, if it's anxiety, if it's um, stress, if it's like anger, if it's withdrawal, what are the keys? What's the patterns? What are the triggers, areas in your life where that happens? Now, you can think of it in your personal life, but let's do business. Let's just do business. Where do you distract or procrastinate or disconnect or go into, you know, I can't do this, the doubt, the fear. What are the things in that situation? What's happening? What's the scenario? Take me into the scene, okay? So for me, when I started working with my coach here, it was the thought of I have to do everything right now. 
and I have to be everything to everyone all of the time, so much so that I don't even know who I am anymore. And the downside, the suffering side for me was I have no personal time because of all these assholes around me <laughs> taking up my time, God damn them, right? So that's I was in that mode. I call her the martyr, okay? To me, I named her Mary the martyr. It's really helpful to name these personalities, these personal realities, these radio stations that you tune into who gets that my mary the martyr who's so overwhelmed and you all go out and have fun i'll stay behind and do the dishes i'll do dinner again don't you you just go take your i will do it all meanwhile resentment building right anger deep-seated and then it just i then i would fly off the handle right for probably three weeks worth of martyrdom. Who can relate? Maybe yours is like anxious Annie and and your, the nervous system is always here. Ah, 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 I'm so important. I can't do it all right now. I can't even breathe, but I must do it all right now or else I'm going to die or else I'm going to disappoint people. People won't be pleased to me. They'll kick me out of the tribe and then I might as well die. That radio station, something chasing you. Anxious Annie, yeah. Um, Olive Overwhelm was my other one, right? That's the, uh. and um, my other, one of my other main characters was um, Judge Judy, always there with the guilt and, and the shame and the judgment. So just like there, you've got these backseat characters, you've got these incredible, powerful personalities as well. You've got, right, I've got the mama bear who is present and joyful, who's the nurturer, who actually loves hanging out with my kids. I love seeing their personalities grow and evolve right before my eyes, you know, that, that they're changing and our relationship is deepening and just all the joys of being a mum, right? And right there, all the joys, same with business. You've got these amazing power personalities in your business, so right now, I want you to pop it in the chat for me so I can read on with you. I want you to tell me one of your power personalities. If you were being kind to yourself right now, I want you to describe when you're in the zone and how it feels, what energy you tap into, what are the thoughts that you're thinking when you're on fire, when you are just so ready to help someone, your mission, what are you focused on? What language do you say to yourself? How does it feel? What are your what what are the things that you say to yourself? And when so, so Cindy, let's go one deeper. When you're inspired and amazing, what are you focused on in those moments? Like think of a moment recently where you just felt really in flow, on path, on mission, tapped in, tuned up. Like, yeah, I love this. What are you thinking about? What are you bringing about? What is happening? I want you to get dialed into this recipe for you. This is a recipe and you can call it just like that, just like this and just like this. It's that simple and you need to be able to recognize it as quickly as possible and, and dial up that energy, fine tune it. So Fiona says, highly energized, lit up with the feeling of connecting with women and helping them and glowing. So you've got a really great recipe that you're starting to really tap into here, Fiona. I'm just going to find you on my screen. Um, I love this, Fiona, because what you're focused on is who? What do you get focused on? Look at your state change. Like I'm, I'm just going to... Um, can you unmute Fiona? I just want to talk to you for a minute here, if, if you're willing. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so I love, I, I can just see the, who can see the energy on Fiona's face if you go to gallery view? She's right in the middle of my screen. And the minute that she's thinking, can you see that she's dialed into this, just thinking about it and just beginning to capture this? Like, so tell me, Fiona, um, what does that feel like? When you're highly energized, when you're lit up with the feeling of connecting with women and helping them and, and glowing. 
Uh, it's it's like, you know, when you just have that smile on your face, like you just feel like you're buzzing and there's that sense of, um, like I love just connecting with the women that I'm working with or helping and then there's like a breakthrough for them or whatever um, in their self-belief or whatever's going on for them and it's it's almost like this magnetic energy between yeah. us and you, you feel like you're in your zone of genius, really. I love it. What would happen in your life if you could intentionally schedule that and, and dial that in, in the appropriate parts of your life? I think every area of life would feel up-leveled. It would. It totally would because it's an energy and, and an intention. It's language, focus, energy and intention. So what I want you to do is capture a name for that, that nuance, that energy. If we really dial in where your face is like that, I want you to actually feel in your body and everyone's playing along at home, okay? Whatever you've written here, like Bron's like, I jump around, I get excited. I want you to be detectives right now. This is just a recipe. It's just a recipe. What are you focused on? Write that out. What are you focused on? Let's just deal with your um, your most ideal business queen, your soulful, you know, business woman. Let's, let's really dial in on her personality right now, her personal reality. Our personality is simply made up of the triad of what we focus on, our language, and our physiology, our physical aspect. And I have multiple ones for business. I've got the connector when it's time for me to connect on a three-way call and I'm in listening mode. I've got two giant ears. I've got one little mouth and I'm leaning in. I'm heart open and I'm in discovery. I don't know this woman, but I can't wait to hear what keeps her up at night. What is she craving? What does she love? What is she so sick of? What's her threshold moment? What's pulling her and repelling her? What does she stand for? Like my connector mode is different to my trainer mode. I'm in trainer mode right now. And they're, they're different. Does this make sense? When I'm a coach, it's completely different again. When I'm the connection queen and I'm just out there sprinkling, it's different again. Who's seen me be cheerleader mode? Twice a day, I go on Facebook and go find people to go cheer on, both in my business and in life. It's an important personality for me, and I do it in half an hour a day, and it gets me the results. It gets me the outcome that I want based on a value that's important. Who can see what I'm starting to do? And who can also think about if you start to get conscious and intentional and, in fact, you pre-plan who you're going to be in advance in your diary, who can see the flow version of this? And now suddenly all the stuff that you don't want to do gets a do, delegate, done, not important, doesn't move me closer towards my top three one-year goals. I either need to do this for myself. No one else can do it. It has to be me. Now, for a time, I tried to delegate my cheerleader, didn't like it, didn't feel authentic. I didn't want someone being me on social media. I love knowing the names. I love knowing the promotions. I love welcoming you, new beautiful hearts to this community. I want to know their names. I want to check out their profile. Does that make sense? There's other things that I can delegate, right? my washing, all the stuff that doesn't need my expertise that someone else will happily do, my domestic divas who come, right? I love them. I love my domestic divas. They come today in one hour. And every week I just tell them, oh, I love you. I'm so grateful for you. You make everything better, right? Now, I also have domestic goddess who meal preps, right? Not that often. I don't schedule her, but she's loosely appears on Mondays. Not all the time because I don't, I don't like that locked in. But there are some foundational big rocks in my calendar over the week 
that are the dominant personalities, personal realities that I am consciously bringing about. I'm bringing forward with great intention the part of me who is best suited to be in the driver's seat for that outcome of my day. So I don't have olive overwhelm. So I don't have stressed out Sally. So I don't have Judge Judy in the driver's seat taking over. I actually have the connection queen. I have mama bear. I have wifey, right? I have the vitality vixen. I had to create different personalities to get my ass into the gym. After avoiding that for so long, I had to switch what I was focused on what my language was around the gym and my physiology for it. Like, let's go get it. Who's with me? Who can see the clarity and simplicity of it? But who can also see how profound this can be? Even if you were to do one new personality and schedule her. So that's going to be my challenge to you. Pop a one in the chat. If this resonates enough that you're up for a challenge for the next week, that you are actually going to schedule your business diva or your soulful businesswoman or your, um, what else could I, could we call her? Let's be creative and fun here because that's the, for me, that's the feminine in my business, right, is that I can have fun, I can have variety right? I can play. Every day can be different, that I can be in a flow. It's not too rigid. And this is why I've got multiple personalities, right? It just, I, I believe we're all got multiple personalities. It's just easier if we name them. And it's easier if we categorize who is helpful, who is the most helpful personality right now to show up and who needs to get in the back seat. Some some need to be fired, some need to be retired, some need to be um, bid farewell, right? They really do because they've taken over your life. Bold business, Betty, there you go. So Janie right now for her, it's the, it's the bold energy that she wants to bring forth, right? And that's probably confidence, right? She's not doubting. She's not overthinking things. She knows what she wants to do. And tell me, Janie, have you had a time in life where you've been really bold, where you can actually look and think back and go, I know that woman. I actually know that part of me. Maybe she's been forgotten. Maybe she's been in the closet. Maybe she's got some dust on her. I don't know. Maybe you haven't yet met with her, but she's waiting in the wings. What is it for you, Janie? I think she's waiting in the wings. Okay. Um, I mean, I have been fairly bold a lot of my life, but then she vanished and has been vanished for a long time. So I'm sort of on a bit of a roll at the moment with um, organizing live events and things. So I need to be bold. I need to put myself out there. So um, tell me about a time that you were bold. Um, I think when I um, met my husband, I met him for a weekend and I he lived in England. And I lived in Australia and we decided that we were going to get married. And I moved to the other side of the country in six weeks to a guy I'd known two days. <laughs> Who loves this? Now, we're all playing along at home. So isn't this fun? I just, I love this stuff because it's a game changer. If you get this, I don't know, maybe not everyone gets it, but if you get this, this is a game changer, is, is your deliberate dialed up energy for the, the correct areas in life, the most appropriate areas in life, okay? So I want you to pop in um, the personality type that you need the most. It might be the value. Like Janie's gone with bold because that's the easiest way for her to think of it. What's your one? Is it confidence? Is it, you know, connection? Is it great coaching? Is it, um, what are the other ones? Let me read them. The listener right? Renee, the coach, right? The great listener, the connect, the connector, the rapport creator. Yeah. The, um, the life by design, you know, creator, 
There's, there's so many different, you know, I've also got another one that was very useful for me that's useful right now is how to be a leader of leaders. That inspired me that I want to work with women who are making a big impact in their life. I want to I want to fill their cup. I want to remind them of their greatness. I want them to see what I see and help them connect their dots. That's an inspiring personality for me, a leader of leaders. It's aspirational. I have to grow to step into it, but I know it. It's in the wings. It's in front of me, right? So I want you to think about all uh, what you want to bring more about and what a game changer it's going to be in your life right? Yeah, Penny, the pain finder, right? Leverage. So I want to upgrade that for you if I can, Renee, um, because I just am a big believer in the law of attraction. So we don't want people in pain, but what we want is their leverage. What is going to make them move? And you're absolutely correct. Some people move towards pleasure and some people move away from pain. People have um, uh, their leverage, right? They're one or the other. And when we're really connected and in rapport with people, we can we can be intuitive and feel them. Yeah? So if you want to get better at that, first of all, you make a con conscious decision. Then you ask your mentors, how do you get great at that? And then you model. And then you go, what books do I need to read? Right? How do I be a masterful communicator? And it's always about listening. By the way, John Maxwell has uh, a book called, um, you know, The 15 Irrefutable Laws of a, a Great Leader and Communicator. Listen, and it's so much about the listening, right? Just you can Google. But tenacious Tilly, I love that, Caroline. And I want you, can you, if you just start to tune into that energy, I want you to all do this with me right now. You're going to move your body in some way. Do you remember the like the statues that you would move a little bit? You'd move an arm and a leg and a thing like this. You're actually going to do a little bit of this in your own body right now because she lives somewhere in you. She lives somewhere in you. So if you will, play along at home right now and do the physiology. We're going to start there. It's always, by the way, in this triad, it's always, always physiology first. And here's why. Do this again. What just happened? What just happened when you do that? Now go to overwhelm. What happens to your breath? What happens to your dominant thoughts? Like here, it's just like, why would I even bother? What's the use? Right? Just looking at you all, I feel really down. Right? But the minute that we do this, it's that simple. That's why physiology is first. That's why physiology is first. And when I can't be bothered raising my arms in the middle of a, you know, a hissy fit, of course, I'm not going to do that. It's too much of a stretch. But what the gentle cues that I do to start dialing up or down on this frequency meter is music. Playlists are my favorite way to dial into these personalities. You should see my Spotify playlist. I've got breakthrough masculine fears. I've got leader of leaders that's, you know, trumpet and triumphant. And I've got, you know, soulful, sexy diva. And I've got like all of my playlists help me bring her about deliberately and consciously. Okay, now different thoughts do as well. So back to your business, your ultimate business personality. I want you to start designing her with me right now. So it's physiology first. What's, what is her physiology like? Like think about her. And if you can't do this in your own body right now, maybe you need, it's too much of a stretch for you and that's okay. I want you to think about who you'd love to model, right? Is it Oprah? Is it um, Beyonce when she does like Sasha Fierce, right? Do you think that Beyonce is going to be like this coming out into the Super Bowl? 
No, Queen B has her alter ego called Sasha Fierce, right? And it's that one. You see her, she's like, oh, oh, she's not like the giggly, fun Beyonce that's in the interviews. She's just like, boom. And her, you know her physiology on stage. We need a bit of Queen B, right? So as I was beginning to play with this, can you see my physiology right now is completely different? My spine is stretched. My spine is my antenna to source. You've got a floppy, bent spine. You're cutting off from source. This just makes, this is your antenna. This is your temple of consciousness. This is how you access consciousness. This is how you dial it up. It's Fiona, I love it. Open heart space, right? Across here. Like it's big, right? Boobs out, right? Girls up. I love it. Yes. Yes. Boobs up. Doesn't that say something? Yeah, of course. So what else? The glowing smile. What do you think happens when you are in this physiology and you don't even yet speak, but you're about to do a three-way chat with someone and you had your playlist and you're drinking water and you're thinking about this woman that you're about to meet and you're so grateful that she's already courageous to get on a call with a stranger, to see, to have the courage that she might change her life in some way, either in our business or starting our products. She's ready for change. And you are thinking about, I'm grateful for this woman. I haven't yet met her. And your heart forward. I want to show you the most important thing in your posture. Shoulders back, your chin. This is my head. I'm 10 times more powerful when I am heart forward, when I'm heart driven compared to, look at that. Who do you want to do business more with? Try it out. Try the feeling. Now, like anything, like a new outfit, it feels different. You're like, I don't know if I can go around all day like this, but just catch catch it. Catch this tiny little change, this tiny little nuance. Imagine a white string coming from here, straight up. That white string lifting this is all the change you need, my friends, from your life is happening to me, I'm helpless, I'm reactive, I'm scared, I'm, I'm doubtful, I'm anxious, to I'm the creator of my entire world. I'm made of stardust. I'm the universe, baby. I'm exactly the same as the stars and the moon and I'm breathing dinosaurs from millions of years ago. Like, that's who I am. That's the difference. I can't, I won't, it's too hard. To The world is my oyster. I'm my creator. I'm in the driver's seat of my life. Now, which part of me needs to be in the driver's seat today? Right? The domestic diva. I get in this little mode. I get my little crease on because I'm like outcome driven and linear and pragmatic, a bit more masculine. Right? Who's feeling what, what I'm saying? Intuitively, you already know how to do this. And ask your family about your personalities, your modes. I bet you they're going to know a few. <laughs> I bet you they're going to know a few of your modes. Ask them. Don't set them up. Ask them. I was on a training call today and this woman was just going on and on about like personalities and modes and and like you know, ways of being, energy. I'm curious. What is your, like, what do you love about me? What mode do you love about me? If it's men in your life, they're always, they're pretty much always going to say playful, fun, light, free. Like we're so powerful when we're in that, that feminine mode, right? We can bring them to their knees. Right, Janie, back to you. And and um, who are you, bold who? 
Bold Betty. Yeah, I love it. Right, Bold Betty. Now, this woman travelled like she was against everything. Everyone, I'm hallucinating, but sure, everyone was like, are you crazy? And she's like, I know who I am. I am tapped in. I know in my cells, I know this is the next right move for me. I'm going with this. That is a very important part of Betty. She doesn't need justification and explaining. She follows her intuition and heart. Big clue for you, right, Janie? Yeah. Big clue. You know her. You mightn't have been connected with her for a while, but it's like riding a bike. She doesn't really go anywhere. She's right there. This is the same in relationship coaching 101. The same chemistry is there because you had a mode together. You asked your partner what, what described to me when we are most connected, when we have the most polarity and the most, you know, intimacy. What, you know, this is a whole different direction here, but stick with me. You That recipe is always there. It's, a, it's the steps. It's energy, my friends. The whole game is energy. He wants to see you lit up like a Christmas tree. If this business, he connects you being lit up like a Christmas tree. When she does that juice plus stuff, I don't know what's in those capsules. I don't know what they do on those trainings, but she's lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, my God, I'm packing her suitcase to that conference. What is she going to be like after a whole weekend there? I love that she does this business. If you come with more stress and overwhelm and doubt, what's what's he going to think? Right? Oh, I'm in competition with this. This is bad. This is not good for us. You have the power to choose in any moment. You never get to choose what's going on around you. The reality is we're not in control of anything. The only thing we get to have an influence over is how we choose to act, respond, behave. The words we use, the physiology we use, the meanings we create for everything that is happening around us. Seeing the gifts, the lessons as quickly as possible Staying tapped in, right, to our intuition, what's true for us, what matters the most. This is how, friends, you build your inner life. This is how you create your own inner sanctuary. This is how you become unshakable. It's not out there, the answers. It's always within. So with the remaining 15 minutes, this is what we're going to do. You're going to describe in detail what your ultimate business personality is like, okay? And we can do this together, and as soon as you come up with this, um, I want you to share some of them in the group. But it could, it could sound like this. I'm going to prompt you on a few things, okay? What does she say? What does she say? Your ultimate business personality. What does she say? What kind of things do you hear her say? And if you're role modeling someone, what do they say? What do you love about what they say? What's the energy and tone of their word? What's the cadence? What's the pace of their word? Do they have high energy? Do they have calm energy? Do they have what energy is best needed and served in the moment? What does she wear? What does she wear, this ultimate business personality? How does she hold herself? What's her posture like? How does she feel? What are, what are the, the top feelings that she embodies? 
but she just is. What does she know? What does she absolutely know? Like feel, if you drop out and you go into your head, then get back into the physiology. And, and maybe you need to close your eyes and meet with her. What does she, what does she believe about you and what's possible in this business? What does she believe about what business really is? What is her mission? What is her why? What gets her so, like, lit up? What lights her up? What does she live for? What does she value? What does she really, really value? What are the priorities in her life? What is she really amazing at? What kind of songs? Does she relate with the most? Like what's her vibe in songs? What does she sound like? When has she shown up in your life? What different parts, just like Janie, right? What different parts, if you think back in your life, what is that energy? Where has she shown up? How does she celebrate? What do others say about her? What does she want you to know above all else? What does she want you to know right now above all else? Okay, and I want to play for a minute. Who wants to share? Who wants to share just some of your answers? Go ahead, Renee. All right. <laughs> she takes... See uh, her state change, everyone? This is what's <laughs> most important. It doesn't actually... Look at her face. It doesn't actually matter what she's about to say because this is who we want in the driver's seat for her business life. Business is a spiritual game. This is your spiritual game, girl. And if you are in this energy, the world is your oyster. That's the bottom line of this entire call. So oh, yeah. bear with me, if you will, that energy <laughs> that you have just captured there, right? It's This is magnetic. This is attraction. This is flow. Mm. Go ahead. Love it. So Hit us. Pumps. <laughs> pumped. Um, what she says, I'm pumped. <laughs> So my ultimate business personality, she takes notice. People are drawn to her energy. She is warm yet strong. She says, I'm here and I'm going all the way. She is organized but in flow. She's appro approachable but not a pushover. She's obsessed with her mission and determined to succeed. You want to be in her presence around her energy. Uh, she's confident but not, she's confident and sure but not cocky. She comes out mostly when I'm in a crisis or drunk. 
Oh, now, fun. from now on, from now on, I'm going to meet with her uh, on the daily, right? I want you to add something in there, okay? I want, I want a new caveat for her. A new <laughs> this is magnificent. I have total goosebumps. Put a one in the chat if, if you are playing along and you can feel this and you just want to sign up right now to be in business with this woman. Like, this is the whole game, right? Keep going. It's magnificent. Okay, I've only got a couple more. Um, she's unstoppable. Her word is her bond. She oh. wants you to know you are nearly there. Just keep going. It's just around the corner. Yeah. Wow. This I'm I mean, now do you all get that like I'm like, oh my god, I want that personality. Who's a bit like that too? That like, oh, I want that now. Now the good news is I want to get through a few shares. So you can borrow some. You might be like, oh, that sounds good. I I resonate with that. Resonance simply my heart energy right now is in tune with your heart energy. That energy, I get it. Right? So you want to take notice of those goosebump moments and when you get the spark, when you get the tap, the emotion, that's for you, right? You're seeing that gift in her because you see that gift in you in equal measure. That was so beautiful, honey. What does she wear? Um, I didn't get to that part. Does it matter? For some people it doesn't matter, but I... You know, at one stage, I needed to bring in a less masculine, calmer, better listener. I needed grace. I needed to actively bring in a less hectic kind of leader, and I modelled Cheryl Cortese for a lot. And for me, she was elegance and grace. She, she had a presence that was very calm and measured, that wasn't floppy and open because I, I got overwhelmed with too much so I had to close a little bit of my energy. So this stays with you girls. Once you've nailed one of them, well, now you don't even have to focus on it. She's there. She's you. I don't have to now focus on Mama Bear. I just can know. It's time to be present with my kids. Same with wifey. Yeah? So this stays with you. So, oh, I just, I loved that. I absolutely love that, Renee. If she's showing up on these three-way calls, you already, this is, all learning is remembering. I want you to write that down. You all, you all already know this. You all have been tapping into this for lifetimes is what I believe. You know this. This is in your cells. This is in your DNA. It's right here, ready for you to enliven and awaken. Beautiful. Thank you, Renee. Janie. I saw your hand up and I want a few more. Janie. Hey, um, I just wrote as it flowed out of my pencil. Um, <laughs> so it is, let's do this. What's the best thing that can happen? She's bold business, Betty. Um, she just feels unstoppable and can see her vision, can smell it and hear it. She is upright and bold and doesn't need acceptance. She knows what she's doing um, is for her highest good and the highest good of everyone. Um, I'm not into me or she's not into music, but nature and trees. Trees are strong and grounded, just like Betty. Oh, goosebumps on that. Full leg goosebumps on that one. So the trees, that's where you got to commune. It's not music, it's trees. Did you just hear that personality show up? Wow. Okay, keep going. Loving it. Um, and she's just she just dresses as she feels right on the day. So um, yep. She tends to always dress the same with most of her personalities because that's how she feels comfortable. Yeah. See how happen. you know her? Yeah, I can really feel her. Like, yeah. And like when I went to England, I also had a, a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter. So we just packed up and left. And then wow. when my marriage split up, that bold, bold Betty came back with two kids. Wow. Yeah, and started again in Australia. So, yeah, I can really, really feel it today. Gosh, these awesome. goosebumps are insane, girl. I'm just, huh. I, this is why I love this work because if we get out of our heads and we get into our beautiful temple, which is just this, this energy conductor, 
right? We're spiritual beings having a human experience. Our, our spirit is not in our body. Our body is in our spirit. It's part of it. But our auric field is two to three meters around us. That's what the resonance is with each other. This is our greatest opportunity and talent, right? This, this is really, if you can refine this and have fun with this, get creative and flowing with this, the trees was such a powerful visual that I got for you there. Janie, whatever that means to you, go do more of that because I want to do business with her. Whoa, I you know, this is powerful. Can you all receive when you're seeing these these women described? How different, first of all, is Renee's to Janie's? Perfect. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. Okay, who's next? Come on, claiming her is very powerful. Come on. Marie, I can I can feel your beautiful spirit saying whoever the personality is is talking loud, but you're you're like, okay. Yeah. Hit us. Um I didn't write as many things down, but um so I'm um is it from the I or the she, or are we, am I explaining? Well, however, there's no right or wrong. There's, okay. no, there's no good or bad. This is okay. about you tapping into an energy, and however you want to present that with us, it's going to be perfect. Wait and see. Okay. So um, I'm confident, heartfelt. Um, with my business, there's always a solution. Uh, I'm hopeful. Um, I have a calm energy. I wear feminine clothes. I smile a lot. I feel content ambitious excited always anticipating um helping others be fit and healthy lights me up um i am amazing at encouraging others uh my songs are um avici live a life you will remember I don't, i'm not sure what it's called but that's one of my songs and anything by jack johnson which is like the surfy beachy vibe that's me um anything to do with the beach i love dancing um uh so she wants me to know that she can do it. She is capable and she is powerful and loved. And people run as alongside me as I run through life. Oh, yeah. If, right. if you just imagine what's going to happen when you cultivate her yeah. and, and, and you bring her about more and you nurture her and nourish her and, and commune with her and speak with her. Yeah. Yeah, you just got some really beautiful, powerful answers, honey. And what will happen in your business when she's in the driver's seat mm. and across your life? Yeah. Yeah, and you know her. I, I just felt so much beautiful truth in everything that you just shared. And is there one more quick one? Thank you. Thank you for your bravery there. <laughs> one more. Lucinda, I'm going to pick on you. Any few words? I'll just unmute myself. Uh, you can pick on me. I was, I was paying attention, but I was actually just writing down what you were saying, so I wasn't writing down the response to it. However, yeah. I'm going to revisit it and make notes of that. Yeah. But did the last thing I did write. Did you get a Yeah, 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 yeah. It was great. It was great. Um, but the last thing I did write which did bring a little tear to my eye, but it was she wants me to know I am amazing, worthy, and I can do anything. Oh, she does. She does. That's what you needed to say. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I, just, yeah. I knew there was something on your paper. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Like if nothing else happened and you could just keep that, oh. you just got a beautiful message from yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. And all learning is remembering. You just got a beautiful message. So, yeah. Well done. Oh, Thank you. that hour went fast. I'm very grateful for your vulnerability, your attention and your heart today, ladies. And I, I really, my highest intention is if you can now go for one week and block time in your diary for her and consciously bring her about and put that energy 
in your diary. Schedule her to welcome her and put her in play in your business life over the next week. And she may spill over into the rest of your life. Powerful things are going to happen. And I want to know about it. Like send me a message. I want to know what happens when you bring these beauties um, to the fore where they belong because it's who you really are, right? Thank you, ladies. Mwah. Have an amazing rest of the week. So appreciate each and every one of you. Bye. Thank you, Linda. Bye. Bye.